praise the name of the Lord Shalom family once again you're welcome welcome to this amazing great awesome word and awesome session of course it's your friend and your sister Dr. Irene and I bring you a timely word from the Lord I appreciate all those that you carry to this particular word you always stop by whenever we do new video uploads returning viewers and returning subscribers God bless you amazingly may he cause his face to shine on you Oh yes, may he cause his splendor, the beauty of the Lord. Let it be made manifest in your life this day in the name of Jesus. Let's all consider to like the video. You know, today in the studio, I just found myself laughing. <laughs> I found myself laughing alone, you know, because of what God was saying. God bless all those that are checking in. Consider to like the word of the Lord. Lord bless you. Let's do that in the name of Jesus. They are not your God. God says they are not your God. They are not your God. Let me tell you, the Lord will put people in your path. He will, you know, he will put men and women in your path. And the reason is so that they can work with you. Some of them, they will have to advise you. They will have to instruct you. They will have to counsel you. But at, above all of that, they are not your God. God still has his place in your life and his place in your decisions and his place all around you. This is what this person is failing to understand. You know, the thing because they are senior to you, the thing because they are elderly, they have had more experience than you. So they just think everything they say or everything they instruct you to do, you are supposed to do it. Bible says in the book of Psalms chapter 1, from verse number one to verse number three say blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly nor stand in the path of sinners nor sit in the seat of the scornful but his delight is in the law of the lord and in his law he meditates day and night bible says he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in and in in its season whose leaves also shall not wither and whatever he does shall prosper hallelujah the lord says they are not your god i see this person is coming back to check you know they ask you to do something they counseled you concerning something but you choose to, uh, you made a decision that was contrary to what they advised you to do because it is not just based on what somebody tells you it somebody has everyone has the right to give advice and to you know to counsel but at the end of the day your decision is based on what god has laid in your heart what he has laid in your spirit whether it's even your father or your mother or your mentor at the end of the day it is what is God saying about this to you. God can use them to speak to you, but you yourself, you have that capacity to listen to what God is saying. And you saw that what the Lord was saying was different from what they were saying. And you chose to do the way God was saying. And because of that, they thought because you turned down their advice, they concluded that you were going to fail. They concluded that what you, you plan to do, it will not succeed. God says they are not your God. Oh, yes, honey, they are not your God. He said, but he, you, you, blessed is the man, because you choose not to walk in the counsel of the ungodly, nor to sit on the seat of sinners. He said, you shall be like a tree planted by the riverside. Each time when they are coming to see that you have fallen, they will always see that you have become much more fruitful. Each time when they are coming to see that, <laughs> let me go and check. I'm sure by now, uh, I'm sure by now the wind of challenges would have blown them off. They come and meet you like a tree planted by the riverside. You bring forth your fruits in due season. You don't have any delay. You don't have any turn down. This is your your prophetic word and this is your prophetic your prophetic you know your prophetic testimony like a tree planted by a riverside your leaves will not wither they are not your god i want you to say to yourself they are not my god oh yes honey they, they were just there to give advice but it's not because you didn't take their advice that means that the prophetic gifts that you have is going to die or you know the talent 
and the things that you had, they are going to die and you will not be able to fulfill God's will, His plan and His purpose for your life. No, they are not your God. And when one door closes, God opens seven new doors. When one person walks away because you choose to stay, to hearken to the word of the Lord, the Lord will bring in seven much more trustworthy people into your life and you will watch yourself flying like an eagle and you will not be you will not be moved in the name of jesus for they that wait upon the lord he shall renew their strength i pray for you all forms of discouragement they are bringing by the power of the almighty i speak strength into your life in the name of jesus in jesus name we pray amen god bless you and shalom